All right. Today is the day I'm going to pick the green beans, and this is coming down. It is so diseased. I'm ready to do my next succession planting of beans. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Jamie Lee. I'm growing in Zone 9A here in Central Coast, California. <music> the peas and actually I got rid of zinnias that were I didn't realize were back there and I just let them grow so there could be pollinators where the uh, the um, beans were but it was getting dizzy so I got rid of them bless you so I'm gonna leave you with a few things um, just beautiful things in my garden right now I had a male flower to pollinate that but I have no male flowers it's kind of disappointing but everything's looking good at the garden good morning it's been a while since I've taken you all in the garden I'm actually getting about to head to my parents house and I'm gonna do a July tour um, it's actually the first of July today <coughs> for my mom's garden but I wanted to show you what my garden's looking like this morning. Everything is thriving, even what's in my compost bin. I think it's even thriving more than others. Um, everything is growing. I've cleared out a few empty, um, there are a few empty pots that I'm going to be potting up some peppers in. But look at this, guys. A multi-head. I, I wish I could do like a 360 view, but I can't. Look at that. And then look at the sunflower. Isn't that beautiful? That is such a beautiful sunflower. I have another one sprouting. Let me see if I can get in here. I just do a full 360 view. I have quite a lot of my tomatoes are just <clears throat> tall um, and I have some really good fruit coming I have a big egg a uh, big cucumber I have more cucumbers the white cucumbers are coming and these I'm so excited about look at that that's growing and I'm getting more and just a lot of tomatoes the thing is it's starting to I think I still have to start watering and then I feel hi everyone welcome to my mom's garden for the July garden tour um I'm gonna start off where I always start off we are in growing zone 9a in Central Coast California and I'm gonna start off as always in the orchard there's my mom <laughs> So look at the plums, they're nice and round and juicy. They're a lot bigger than they have been in the previous years. I probably I think it's because of the rain. Yes. And here's their lemon tree. I need to get some lemons. And then this is continuously to growing with a lot of new growth. This is an apricot tree. These are their blueberries, which I'm really happy that is um, sprouting. I'm gonna pull out, ow, these weeds. No, don't touch, look, there's spider webs. This is the talbos ng kamote. We actually eat from that often. And then here are her sitao, her long green beans. Her apple tree. 
They're small apples, but they're pretty good apples. They have a lot of fruit. This, and the guava. The guava is starting to pr produce some new leaves. And then, like I always show, they're persimmons. They have a ton oh, of persimmons. And then they have a lot of blackberries. And then their raspberry have a lot of flower buds, but no raspberries yet. And then their little smarties or clementine. There's a lot of little ones. The last time I showed you this, there was a lot of flowers. And now there's a lot of little clementines. More growth on the pineapple guava. Um, so it's definitely looking much better, but I can't wait to get actual pineapple guava. See, there's new sprouts right along there, which I'm really happy about. And then our calamansi tree, just still one butt, but flower bud. Oh no, there's more. You see, there's more flower buds now. And then Hello. my mom still has a raspberry there. This planter now has uh, two ampalaya that sprouted. And then here is my mom's gong gong. This, this is a, yeah, I know. This is gong gong, gong spinach. What's and Swiss name? chard. Huh? What's my name? This is their second persimmon, which has a lot. And then my mom's jungle of tomatoes, which I don't know if there's any tomatoes. There might be some tomatoes inside. We'll take a look. Yeah. And here is my mom's kabucha. She has another kabucha right here. I had one that was in this state, it bloomed, but there was no male flowers, so. And then this is her patola, it's getting big it as well. And then she has a melon right there. That's her melon. And this is a watermelon that's growing as well. All right, on this side of her garden where she has the grapes, the grapes are still growing yeah. sorry this garden door has a lot of extra commentary my daughter is following me around my mom transplanted this cucumber which is growing and also have some zucchini do not touch baby and then she has peppers all along here that are flowering she has a tomato plant some additional peppers, and this was the mystery. Um, looks kind of sickly. The mystery plant that I gave her. Wasn't sure if that was an ampalaya. More peppers. And then some eggplants that's really taking off. All right, so here is my mom's front yard, which consists primarily of roses. Billy Jake, look, Daddy's here. And flowers. And this is all my mom's roses. <laughs> okay, so this is my mom's garden, and then here's the gardener. <laughs> 